everybody, I'm Liliana Washburn. I'm a painter and digital illustrator. Today, I'm going to talk with you about my work. I started painting 10 years ago, and at the beginning, I basically painted on Yupo paper. But to do my work on Yupo, I used to draw a small watercolor, what, which was my warm up from my work on Yupo. Initially, I thought I would just like make 30 of those little paintings and put them all together and have a psychological portrait of myself. And the idea came from a book called The Artist Way. Uh, in the book, there was a, a quote from Picasso saying, painting is just like creating a diary. And I thought for myself, to myself, I'm going to create my diary by painting. And uh, for 30 days, I did all my 4 by 4s and then uh, later on I put them on a 36 by 36 canvas. By doing that I learned that uh, even your worst days painting, when you put everything together it still makes an incredible design because it's part of you. So in this small work, I never erased anything. I used a, I used a gel paint to do the lines. And uh, the only thing that I had in mind is like, there is no mistake. Whatever I do, whatever comes out, it is what it is. And when you put the 30 days together, you see that an incredible uh, design and an incredible painting comes true. And every detail of what you did in those days is also important. Um, so, through the years, through my eight years, I showed the UPO, but in 2016, I went to a, a residency in Poland. And because I couldn't frame my UPO, I had to draw on canvas and I wanted to draw large. So it was my first experience going from a small drawing uh, to a large one. And on UPO, uh, I, I worked with a uh, wet on wet, which it is, you put the water on the paper, you drip your colors, you look at it, and whatever design is coming up, you work with that to create whatever you want to create. It, um, it takes a little bit of control and a little bit of um, very little, because on wet on wet, there is little that you can control. But you have to have some type of imagination on what you want to create and you go looking at the designs that form when the colors merge to have your final design. So you don't really create a palette uh, other than choose the colors that you wanted when you work on Yupo. But when you work on large scale and drawings and you are working on a canvas, you need to know your colors. So. To do that, I went through a large process of doing color charts, which I'm going to show you. These are just some of them. I have, I have made, I lost a count, a year and a half I spent doing that because I had several brands uh, of paint and uh, I used to mix them if I was creating something in acrylics. And of course, I would get different results. So I needed to figure it out a palette for myself, and that's what I did. I did uh, color charts from all the brands that I had, and uh, one for each brand, and I thought I can separate and pick up a brand and just do that. But turns out that's impossible because I came to love different colors from certain brands. So what I did was I selected the, the brands and the colors I liked the best and created my own palette. And I mixed them and I put them in those little jars. I put a number on them so I know exactly the proportions that I use for that color. So every time I have to paint in a large scale, I know exactly what I, what I want. And by doing the color charts, what happens is that uh, you, I, I have done them so many times that now when I grab a color, I have an idea what the result, which result I'm going to get it. One of the things that people don't realize also is that the surface that you are working on makes a huge difference in what you're going to see as a result. For example, 
Yupo has a very satin finish. It's beautiful. So, and it's also a seal because it's plastic. It's sealed so the color really shines. But when you put that color on a canvas, what happens is it absorbs the color. So it's not always the same. And each brand has its own level of um, absorbency in the, on the canvas. So all of these I have been learning for the last 40 years. And today I feel pretty comfortable with painting on my canvas. I'm painting on wood as well. Um, I seal my wood. Uh, I have a better result when I do that. And it also helps uh, conserve the wood. And, um, and then I use my color palette. And I have a wonderful time doing that. You may think that it's like hard to do the color charts because they take time, but it's also a very pleasurable and um, kind of a meditative way to do things. It, it's really nice. So without any more delay, I'm going to show you some of my works. I love doing my female shapes. They come from my um, uh, portrait paintings or my figure drawings. I sketch them and then I put them in my uh, iPad, I trace them and then I put my colors and from my iPad I put it on canvas. So let's go check them out. Okay, so this is um, one of my large works on canvas. It is a uh, 36 by 40 and uh, it came from one of my <clears throat> portrait drawings. The, the drawing itself. This is called and Peaceful and it is a 9 by 12 also for my pro portrait. I believe this is Dream With Me also 9 by 12. The, these are all on wood. This is Checkmate, and it's also 9 by 12 on wood. And this one, I can't remember the name, but it's also on wood, 9 by 12. This one is on canvas. I hope you can see it well. And these two are my most recent uh, paintings. Let me move this a little. Better. Um, it's part of a series that I created during the lockdown in COVID. And it's called Thinking Through Number One. I have made eight paintings in this style. And I have put it on wood, two of them. Um, of course, they can be painted in any size because they are really straight. I just have to decide the size that I'm going to do it. And this is my initial work. The 4x4. Four four, the initial work. Hi, I hope you enjoy watching this video. And if you like to see more of my work, visit my website at lwashburn.com. Feel free to send me a note. I would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day.